The national politics has, for wrong reasons, overshadowed the novel coronavirus crisis in the country for the past several weeks. First, it was the controversial ordinances that were ultimately withdrawn, which was followed by the Indian government inaugurating the road link in Lipu Lake, kicking off widespread criticism in Nepal. Politics apart, it is the 50th day of the nationwide lockdown today. Good morning, I'm Amar Singh Pradhan, and these are the headlines of the hour. Government sends second diplomatic note to India over encroachment of Nepal's Lipulik region. Six clarification from Indian ambassador to Nepal. 24 more individuals detected with the novel coronavirus in Nepal yesterday, taking the infected number of cases in the country to 134. Government to increase defence budget despite economic setback induced by coronavirus crisis. Budget for Nepal Army increased by 350% after conclusion of peace process. And US President Donald Trump accused of racist remarks at a US-based Chinese journalist. Trump also placed down White House coronavirus spread controversy. The government has sent a diplomatic note to the government of India expressing discontent over India's encroachment of Lipulik, the Nepalese territory. Seeking clarification regarding the Indian move, Foreign Minister Pradeep Gyawali handed over the diplomatic note to Indian Ambassador to Nepal, Vinay Quatra, yesterday. During his meeting with the Indian envoy, Foreign Minister Gyawali also expressed discontent over India's unilateral move of constructing roadway via Lipulik without even informing or seeking the consent of the government of Nepal. Indian Defence Minister Rajnath Singh had inaugurated the road link via video conference last Friday. The roadway links to the religious site Man Sarovar in China's Tibet region. The government of India has started constructing the roadway via Nepalese territory at a time when the government of Nepal has proposed for diplomatic dialogues with the southern neighbour regarding the border dispute. The government of Nepal has termed the Indian move as both unexpected and objectionable. The Nepal government had already expressed its objection to the Indian government's political map released on 2nd of November 2019 that illustrated Nepal's Limpiadura, Lipulik and Kalapani regions as Indian territory. Nepal has also sought diplomatic solution to the border dispute with India. The process, however, has remained stalled due to the reluctance of the Indian government so far. Lawmakers have criticized the government for failing to move diplomatic initiatives to sort out the border dispute with India, even as India inaugurated its road link connecting Tibet's Man Sarovar through Nepal's territory. Speaking at yesterday's meeting of the House of Representatives, the lawmakers sought the government's response regarding its efforts over the Indian encroachment of the Nepalese land. The lawmakers were of the view that the government of Nepal should hold a high-level political dialogue with India to sort out the border dispute and also opt for the international court if the issue is not resolved through the diplomatic means alone. Meanwhile, the lawmakers of the opposition parties alleged the government of exhibiting indifference towards the plight of the Nepali migrant workers who have been stranded abroad due to the novel coronavirus pandemic. A writ has been filed at the Supreme Court demanding to return the Nepalese land encroached by India. The writ petition has called for the Supreme Court to issue ruling to the government to immediately return the encroached land from India through diplomatic dialogues. The writ has also demanded the government of Nepal to inter internationalize the Indian encroachment of Nepalese territory in case the issue could not be resolved through diplomatic means. The writ jointly filed by filed by advocates K. Raj Jung Kesi, Dipendra Adhikari and Lokendra Oli has also called for both the nations to abide by United Nations protocol since both the nations are the UN member states. Office of the Prime Minister and Council of Ministers, Ministry of Home Affairs, Ministry of Defence, Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Ministry of Land Management have been made defendants in the writ. As many as 24 more individuals have tested positive for the novel coronavirus in Nepal yesterday, the highest daily record in the country. According to the Ministry of Health and Population, the number of infections has surged to 16 in Kapil Bastu, 6 in Rupandai, while a person each in Bardia and Saptari have been detected with the virus. With this, the total number of infections in the country has climbed to 134. 
the newly infected individuals who were detected in Yasodhara Rural Municipality and Buddha Bhumi Municipality of Kapil Bastu. Among the infected, majority had returned from India during the lockdown. In Kapil Bastu alone, the total number of infected has reached 21. Likewise, six men aged between 24 to 40 years have been detected with the novel coronavirus in Simarimai and uh, Lumbini, Sanskritic rural municipality of Rupandai. The total number of infected individuals in Rupandai has climbed to seven so far. Meanwhile, Saptari and Bardia had their first cases yesterday. Infected found in Saptari is an 18-year-old male from Dakneswari Rural Municipality 3, whereas an 11-year-old girl from Razapur 5 has been infected in Bardia. The coronavirus infected districts has reached 18 as of now. Province 5 is seen as the hardest hit province by coronavirus infections in Nepal. 53 individuals have been detected with the novel coronavirus in Province 5. According to the Ministry of Health and Population, 911 tests were conducted yesterday through PCR method. The ministry said that altogether 17,809 samples have been tested through PCR method across the country as of now. The Swiss government had supported with 30,000 units of PCR kits to Nepal a few days ago. Likewise, China provided the assistance of 40,000 units of PCR kits to the health ministry yesterday itself. Meanwhile, it has been reported that contact tracing in Kabul Bastu has turned complicated due to language barrier. On the other hand, hundreds of Nepali nationals who had returned from India have also been violating the quarantine measures. Many of them who have returned from India recently have been living in their homes with their families, risking further spread of the virus. The local authorities too have failed to identify the individuals refusing to stay in quarantine after returning from India. Province 2 government has brought into operation a Corona Special Hospital in Janakpur. Currently, four patients are being admitted in the hospital. The Corona Special Hospital has the facility to conduct surgery of even pregnant women. In the 42-bed hospital, eight beds have been separated for the patients with serious illness. According to doctors, the facilities at the new hospital are helpful in identification and treatment of coronavirus. The country presently is not in a state of conflict at the moment, while there are no reasonable basis to increase the defense budget. The Ministry of Finance has already directed its departmental ministries to cut down up to 25% of expenses in the proposed budget due to challenges in resources management induced by coronavirus crisis. However, contrary to the need of the hour, the government is preparing to increase the defense budget by 5% in the next fiscal year. The national economy has been badly hit by the nationwide lockdown imposed in a bid to contain the coronavirus outbreak. As a result of the precautionary measures against the virus outbreak, the government is unable to allocate budget for even the prioritized development programs in the upcoming fiscal year. Meanwhile, different ministries are in confusion regarding budget allocation to various development schemes. The Ministry of Defense, however, has been provided with the budget ceiling of additional 5% in the upcoming fiscal year, although there are no reasonable basis to increase the role of the Nepal Army at this juncture. This is contrary to the widespread pressure on the government to substantially diminish the annual budget under different headings, including the defense budget due to a drastic decline in the collection of revenue and setbacks seen in other important resources uh, of national income. The number of Nepali migrant workers losing their employment in the Gulf countries and Malaysia has been steadily rising due to the coronavirus pandemic. Although the government has decided to bring home the stranded Nepali nationals by spending the welfare fund, the decision is yet to get implemented. Likewise, the Nepalese embassies in the respective countries too have remained ineffective in supporting the Nepali migrant workers. As many as 615 Nepalese in the Gulf countries and Malaysia have already been infected with coronavirus, while five among them have lost their lives due to the virus in UAE. Especially the companies based on crude oil in the Gulf countries have started laying off Nepali workers due to the coronavirus pandemic. Many migrant workers have been stranded in these Gulf countries due to shutting down of their employer companies, while others have been left without jobs due to expiry of their contacts. 
Meanwhile, the workers who have been staying illegally are more trouble-bound as many such workers are being forced to rely on others, including local social organizations for basic necessities such as food and accommodation. They are not even in the condition to return home right away due to the suspension of international flights. The Nepalese embassies in these host countries, however, have continued to sigh away from their responsibilities, citing the lack of budget to support and rescue the Nepali workers. The embassies have even failed to undergo diplomatic initiatives with the respective governments to arrange for accommodation and food for the migrant workers. Meanwhile, the Nepali migrant workers stranded in India as well have been complaining that the Nepalese embassy in India has even stopped responding to their plea for support. And now time for our segment Public Pulse where it texts us with their opinion. Public Pulse. And your question is, why have the Nepalese embassies been indifferent towards helping Nepali migrant workers abroad? And your options are A, ritualistic mentality, option B, lack of sensitivity, and option C, lack of resources. The voting for the question is on type and W select your option A, B, or C, and send it to 34001 to share your opinion with us. Stay with us for more news and entertainment on KTVSD. Stay home, stay safe, and have a good day.